Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the following question which says if alpha and beta are different complex numbers with modulus beta equal to 1 then find modulus of beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta. Before moving on to the solution let's discuss some results. First we have a complex number given by z into the conjugate of the complex number z that is z bar this would be equal to modulus of z whole square where the z is some complex number now next we consider z1 z2 be two complex numbers now we have z1 upon z2 this whole bar is equal to z1 bar upon z2 bar provided the complex number z2 is not equal to 0 also we have Z1 plus minus Z2 this whole bar is equal to Z1 bar plus minus Z2 bar this is the key idea that we use in this question let us now move on to the solution in the question we have that alpha and beta are different complex numbers and modulus of beta is equal to 1 that is alpha and beta are two different complex numbers and we are also given that modulus of beta is equal to 1 we have to find modulus of beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta. We have to find the value of this. First of all we consider modulus of beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta the whole square. As from the key idea we have that modulus of z square is equal to z into z bar which is the conjugate of the complex number. So using this result we can say that this is equal to beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta and this whole into beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta whole bar. So further this would be equal to beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta this whole into conjugate of beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta. Now from the key idea we have that z1 upon z2 the whole bar is equal to z1 bar upon z2 bar provided this complex number z2 is not equal to 0. So using this result for beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta and this whole bar and so this would be equal to beta minus alpha the whole bar upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta the whole bar. Also we have a result which says that z1 plus minus z2 the whole bar is equal to z1 bar plus minus z2 bar. This means that z1 minus z2 the whole bar is equal to z1 bar minus z2 bar. So using this result this is equal to beta bar minus alpha bar upon 1 bar minus alpha bar beta the whole bar which is further equal to beta bar minus alpha bar upon 1 minus 
alpha into beta bar. So here we can write beta bar minus alpha bar, this whole upon 1 minus alpha into beta bar the whole. This further gives us beta minus alpha the whole into beta bar minus alpha bar the whole, this whole upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta, this whole into 1 minus alpha into beta bar the whole. So further, when we multiply these two expressions in the numerator, we get beta into beta bar minus beta into alpha bar minus alpha into beta bar plus alpha into alpha bar. This whole upon, now we multiply these two expressions in the denominator. So we get 1 minus alpha into beta bar minus alpha bar into beta plus alpha into alpha bar into beta into beta bar. Now, as we know that the product of the complex number and its conjugate is equal to the modulus of the complex number whole square. So this means beta into beta bar would be modulus of beta the whole square this minus beta into alpha bar minus alpha into beta bar and alpha into alpha bar would be modulus of alpha the whole square. Now this whole upon 1 minus alpha into beta bar minus alpha bar into beta plus now alpha into alpha bar would be modulus of alpha the whole square and beta into beta bar would be modulus of beta the whole square. Now we are also given that modulus of beta is equal to 1. So using this, we get this is equal to 1 square which is 1 minus beta into alpha bar minus alpha into beta bar plus modulus alpha the whole square. This will upon 1 minus alpha into beta bar minus alpha bar into beta plus modulus of alpha whole square since modulus of beta is equal to 1 so modulus of beta whole square would be 1 so modulus of alpha whole square into 1 is modulus alpha whole square. Now as we can observe that numerator and denominator are same so they both cancel with each other and we are left with 1, that is we have modulus of beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta whole square is equal to 1. This means that modulus of beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta is equal to 1. And we were supposed to find the value of modulus of beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar into beta. And this comes out to be equal to 1. So this is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.